everyone, Sebastian here from Green Music Productions. Today I want to talk about my favorite Reaper extension. Now for those who don't know what extensions are in Reaper, they are basically scripts and most of the time they add functionalities to Reaper and anybody can create scripts, they're super useful. But the script I want to talk about today is really powerful and it's a premium script so it's not free. Uh, but if you're a sound designer, it's way worth it, in my opinion. Now, if you're not a sound designer, stay tuned because I'm going to show you some really cool stuff you can do with music and with drums. Uh, but for now, let's focus on sound design. The extension is made by a guy called Nick Von Canel. I hope I'm not butchering his name. And he's a lead sound designer for video game company, so he knows what he's doing. Once you bought and installed the script, uh, if you open the action list and you type NVK, you're gonna see that it only adds two actions in your action list. So I assign shortcuts to them. Uh, one is W, one is Q, so create and create replace. So let's try it out. So if I open NVK create by pressing my keyboard shortcut, it kind of looks like a media explorer, but it's way more powerful than the uh, regular Reaper media explorer. Now, the first time you open it, you're, you're going to be greeted with this window right here. It's going to ask you to select the databases and right off the bat, one thing that is better than the uh, Reaper Media Explorer is that you can select multiple databases by holding control on PC or command on Mac. So if I want to search in many databases, I can do that easily. It also supports SoundMiner databases. So for sound designers that are used to work with SoundMiner, if you have databases, it works in the latest update uh, that he released. So that's really cool. Um, and let's compare with the Reaper Media Explorer. If I try control, it's not gonna allow me to do so. Uh, so let's go back into NVK Create. Let's say I'm trying to design an acid sound. And so if I type acid, it's gonna list every single acid sound in the database that I selected. So let's try a couple. So as you can see, we see the waveform and it also creates regions. So instead of having to wait to listen to all the different variations, I can use my left and right arrow keys. to really quickly navigate through the different regions and listen to them all. So I save a lot of time. And if I'm happy with a specific variation, I can just click enter and it's gonna insert that specific variation into my Reaper session. So let's try it out. Let's say I like this, enter. I like this, enter. This as well. And this as well. So just like that, it not only inserted those sounds in my session, but it detected the trends and, and aligned them so they make sense. So now if I press play, I have a massive acid sound. Now there's one sound. This one almost sounds like electricity. Uh, let's say I don't like it. I can select it and use the other keyboard shortcut, uh, which is W in my case, but you'll have to assign it and it's going to replace it by something else. Now, let's say I would prefer some water sound. I can go in the title of that track and enter water, enter some different tag words, or I can use this symbol right here and enter, let's say I don't want to have ice. This is going to exclude everything from ice. So if I try it again, so if I listen to it, it's a water sound, so now let's listen to it with everything. Beautiful. See how easy that was, but that's not all. Uh, this is already way better than navigating the regular Media Explorer. But there's another really cool thing. If you press tab, or you can also press this button right here, it's going to allow you to automatically create a bunch of layers and variations with different parameters. So let's say I want 20 variations with uh, four layers uh, per variation. Uh, all the clips must be max 2.5 seconds. And I also want it to apply some random pitch up to six semitones. I uh, also want M to reverse some of the samples. So this is a percentage of chance to reverse that sample. So 40%. Uh, and I also want it to trim the different sections. 
Let's try it again. Uh, let's try, for example, um, what what could we try? Like a whoosh, and I don't want to include any air or any electric sounds. So I'll just type elect. It's telling me that it found 1,512 matches. So if I press enter, it's going to automatically create 20 variations. Now, my simple library right now is on the slowest external hard drive. So I'm showing you the worst case scenario, but if you have an SSD, it's going to be blazingly fast. That's still really, really fast. It just created 20 variations of different layers of the sound that I selected. So let's listen to a couple and see how it did. And again, let's say, for example, I like this, but I don't like this end part right here. I can always enter something else here. I can say, let's say I want ice, um, maybe like whoosh, ice, exclude, um, I don't know, fire. And then I can select it or select multiple clips on that track if I want uh, and just press my keyboard shortcut to replace it. Perfect. Let's say I like this. It's super easy and it generates a bunch of variations with different layers, with some pitch, with some reverse applied. Super fast, super creative. Now, if you're a sound designer, you know how valuable that is uh, because most of the time you spend so much time creating sources and this allows you to do a lot of stuff really quickly. As you can see, you see some numbers over there. These are the different takes. As I've shown you earlier, it detects the different variation in the same clip. There's also another script. Um, let's open the action list again. It's another script that uh, is made by uh, Nick Van Canel. It's called uh, NVK Takes. It allows you to duplicate sounds and create variations super quickly because it's only going to take the next variation in the same file. So all these, let, let me give you an example. Let's say I want to duplicate this. I can select it, press Alt D. And it created a variation because it selected the next take in the file. So really quickly, you can create a bunch of variation just by doing this. So these, these are all different. So just like that, I have four different variations of the same thing. So it allows you to work so much faster. Now, I promised that I would show you some musical stuff as well, and that's what I'm gonna do. Let's open it once more and go into my drums database. So now let's say I would like to uh, design some kick drums. I'm tired of always using 808s or my classic kick drum sound. So let's just say I type in kick, and I open the multi-layer mode. Uh, I can say, let's create 20 variations of three layers, uh, no pitch applied, no reverse, enter. See how blazingly fast that was? It just generated 20 variations of different layers of kick. So now I can listen to different uh, kick layered together. They're going to sound unique because they're basically layers. I can add pitch variation if I want to make them sound even more unique. But just like that, I can find kicks that I really like and that sound massive because they're layered. Let's try the same thing with snare uh, just for fun. And let's try snare. Let's apply a little bit of pitch. Uh, maybe like three semitones. Enter. I have 20 variations right there. It's 
So let's say I like uh, this layer right here, but I don't like this specific sample and I want to change it. Uh, I can just go here once more and try something else. So I'll just type in snare, select this, press W to replace it. So now that's better. So just like that, and I can select multiple clips from that track, enter something, and it's going to replace them all if I enter the uh, keyboard shortcut for that specific function. So it's really powerful, and I just scratched the surface. Um, once again, go check out the uh, link in the description below. There's a ton of information. There's a lot of stuff you can do. Obviously, you can customize the layout. You have themes. Um, right now, I have the bubblegum waveform and highlight. I really like that. It's colorful. It's beautiful. And you have a bunch of options. It's super powerful, and it allows you to save a lot of time and generate happy accident. So make sure to check it out. If you like that kind of stuff, click the like button and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.